avatar grove. Close. That's like what we were following in Mitnet. Holy, look at the size of that tree. That's like your average tree, yeah. Is that a cedar? Yeah. It is. That thing's huge. They are, but yet they're not. Like, super tall. Super tall? No. More cone. Like, how many years is it going to take that tree to get to that point? Like, another fucking 1,500 years? Yeah, it's a massive yeah, tree. Like, it's a long, it's amazing, man. Like, it's crazy to think the thing grows for 27 years and cut it down. Is this all the hiking we got to do here, Tim? No, no, we're going up. Oh, got to go. Look at the size of that stump Unless right you there. Let's go down to the river. No, let's go up. Let's go up. Yeah. Look at the size of that stump. Uh oh, it's all uphill from here. At least it's downhill on the way back. You can see this tree crossing. Carmana's gnarliest tree. What's this, what does it say? Carmana's gnarliest tree. Creek crossing. Big cedars. We were just on the viewing platform. We gotta see the big cedars. Yeah. Okay. I love this sign. Intention. Oh yeah. Got a tree in three different pieces. Don't, don't. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be filming when I'm climbing these stairs because you're gonna be moaning. Look at the size of this cedar right here. <sighs> Look at the size of that cedar. Holy shit. Tim, stand there for a second so they can see the sc scale size of this tree. Holy shit. So you wanted to see some big trees, bro. <laughs> Watch your step, Lord. Okay. Look at this one. Look at the size of that. Looks like a big, huge branch broke off there. Like, look it up there, you are from here. He went on, the, on this side, I think. Oh, he's on the other side here? Now look at that branch, big branch broke off oh, up there. Really? I don't see him around here. Ah! There he is! Ah! He's got a little leprechaun in there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How, what is that like? Oh yeah, I wouldn't fit. Jingle. That's crazy, man. <laughs> this wow. is the first growth room of Koi right here. This is the OG right here. Yeah. This is like Dr. Jerry now. Look at them. There's one right there. One right there. Calling that tree Dr. Dre. Hey, cheese. Like, do you think about like this forest? Like, imagine way back when it was just these. Yeah. Look at the size like, of that how tree. open the forest really is, right? It's when these things are growing, these hemlock here, yeah, would be like these, these little saplings out of the roots. What do you mean? That's what it would look like in here when it first started. When it first started, and these big ones are growing, it'd be like those little saplings, yep. like these are now this, yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Holy. This one's This is an old bed. It's coming down one day. Yeah. Holy. Yeah, look at the roots, man. Tim, can you go stand up by that tree, please? Where? Can you go stand so they can buy it? So that little tree so they can see the scale of it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's gnarly. Size of that cedar. 
Softest thing out here. That's right. <laughs> Roots. I am the softest thing out here. It's like the roots make steps for you. Pretty freaking wild. Hey there. Hello. I don't know if they're if they look big on camera, but they're huge. I didn't think they'd be this big, especially looking up at them. Look at this one. A big burl. Kind of a burl. Like this. Oh, that, oh yeah, that, yeah. Like you don't have much sound, like your sound wood is here, right? That's what I mean. Yeah, look at all rotten in there. I made my undercut to about here, and these this much hinge probably. But it's pretty, look, if you see right through here. That's what I mean. So it would be an undercut here, I'd cut this all out, and I'd cut into there, and then... Finish where? Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah. I'd this to so hold, yeah, yeah. So I'd you know cut, gotta... I cut my undercut there. So I'd it's falling up, straight that way. Yeah, I'd cut up the back here, right? Leave this. Then I'd cut up to my undercut from my holding wood, and then I'd come back here out of the bite and finish it off. You also want to try and follow them so they don't land on any stumps so they break when they land, right? Yeah, for sure. I watch that on logging go. shows. You're not going to put that thing anywhere else but there. But you're right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wedges aren't going to change anything. No, not this, no. Look at this, big. It. Look at this big. Look at it. Look at it. That's that thing just get on the Look ground. Look at this big old dead one here. This one here, you know where that's going. Yeah. In the back of the logging truck? Going right into yeah. that other tree. Right on the ground. Into that other one. Well, those up the whole thing goes. I think we're going to have to see that weirdest tree that what was that thing? Gnarliest. It'll be Gnarl at the end here. Gnarliest tree in Carmana. Yeah, so in you guys Canada. can see through it. Carmana, I thought. Oh, it's like Canada. Did it? Yeah. Oh, we're in for a tree. Oh, we might see the gnarliest Canada. tree in Canada then. Oh, well, I was watching one of those shows and they, they, they're doing Canada? They called it, uh, not Carmana, they called it Car. Carmena. Carmena. Carmena is what the guy called it. There's a guy calling kilometers on Carmena. Carmena? Carmena. The oh. Carmena Valley. So oh. his uh, family, Crow's family, white truck, they got uh, down, like, <laughs> they got like um, leases. They got they got land where they're allowed to log and it's got first growth cedars like this. And uh, he's going to get me some burls, he said. Maybe. Doesn't matter. I don't know if you guys remember the uh, when I carved the yew wood they got from Tim. Well, they came from him. His, he, cut, he cut down the yew tree. It was already dead, but the loggers. I don't know if it was there or not, but they cut down. That's where the yew wood came from. And uh, Larry Dibbs' family has a dead standing yew tree that we're allowed to cut down. So we'll be doing that in a few a month or two. I don't cut live wood down to carve it. It's got to be dead. Do you think you got trees that's big on your property? Do you think you got tree? You think you got big trees like this still on your property? Your lo your logging property? Where we're at? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is what's at a steady diet of these all day. Really? Steady diet. Right? Yeah, you're gonna have to get me some burls, bro. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Right.
That's the thing though, right? People don't understand that these trees are gonna end up being like this, rotten and falling over and they're good for nobody. And they're you they're wasting yeah, space. They're, they're just no, but they're just it's, they're good for nothing, right? I mean yeah. that's why people are like, oh the old growth, it's the fucking second growth that you want to save. I mean ninety percent of the old growth are protected. There's point zero three percent that we're allowed to cut and they're all bitching over. Ninety percent of it's protected, man. Ninety nine point fucking whatever it yeah, is. Like it's ridiculous. Point talking about like uh, protesters though, protesters saving the first growth trees, which they save some, but don't need to save it all. Because like for example, where this one this is what I think, where this one huge tree is standing, that takes room for four other trees that could be standing there this size. So do you know what I mean? anyways, I'll just shut up. Don't get me wrong, the world needs first growth trees, first growth everything, or old growth, right? But once again, anyways. Looking at it and it's split up top there, right? That's the biggest one thing in here so far, isn't it? Tim, can you go stand there in front of it for a sec, quick, please? See, I'll look at the size of this. Holy shit. Split right there. Look at this one. Get a video on your head. Go inside there and look up with the camera. Holy shit, yeah. You can see it to your right there all the way up. Holy, yeah. Look at this piece. Like this is gonna increase there. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's already shooting out. Look how much it shoot out. It's a big hemlock. This one? Yeah. What is this there? Okay. Probably a cedar it looks like. Yeah, it looks like a big cedar. People are signing their names on it. That's kind of neat. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I went beach combing and I found a big cedar piece of a log on a beach, and it it's like six or seven feet wide. I'm gonna get my buddy Jeremy with a tugboat to get it. But this is the same kind of cedar. See it all? That's what the outside of that tree's like. That's why I wanted to get that piece of wood for me because you don't get any older. Oh, it's got a huge burl on it. It's got a burl the size of a car on it. This is Canada's gnarliest tree. Look at the size of that burl.
Oh, look at the size of that burl. Gotta slow down my breathing here. That thing's massive. Quite the burl on me, eh? Sure is. Hey, Dick, Timmy, what way is she going? Going to the west side. Hey? This is the west side. Little burl on that tree, too. These are old first growth cedars. You can see the size of it. Okay, I'm gonna sit down here for a few minutes. Catch my breath. But look at this, it's like, uh, yeah, it's just, it's pretty awesome to be here and see this. So the pro is, well, he's a professional. He's a, well, he's a tree faller. So him and Tim are talking about how he would cut down that big tree and where it would land. So anyways, Canada's gnarliest tree right here. Fifteen hundred years old. What about the, what about this one? Uh, pretty close to the same, probably. It's just grew a lot more because of the defect, right? It's pretty pretty much the same at the butt. It's I call burls I call burls tree warts, man. Like, there's a, is that how the burls you think they form? Or I don't know. I don't know that. It's just like people, like yeah, it could be moles and warts. Like that's, people have moles on their body. That's right. You just get it's just a. A little bit of a what's crazy is that probably defect. started about that big when that tree was that tall yeah. you know what i mean oh, when that sure. tree was just a tiny little guy and it probably had some little, little tiny little little defect little on like it. Don't, yeah. that, like don't get me wrong here uh friends this is that's is like a size of a small car oh yeah that's uh, your fucking sprint yeah. your little sprint a little like a chevy civic. cobalt yeah line. cobalt ish But he's told me, um, what's that tree here? He says like, um, this here, the pro, says that's called, this part of the log where it's split in there, it's called, they call it a cat face. Until it gets up to the solid part up here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but all down here is called a cat face in a tree. So we'll just leave it at that. Now I know. Now you know. This tree looks like it's gonna fall over in a crazy windstorm. That's the thing that you, you notice how they're like over matured, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, like they're they're half they're dead. Time to fall and hit the ground. Yeah, it's make way to make the other ones be that's like that. Right. It's Give more light. That's how it goes, yeah. right? You grow, you mature, and you die, yeah. just like us. <clears throat> so I'm real happy to be able to show you guys these trees. Now we're gonna start heading back. It's, I gotta be a little bit more careful heading back because the st 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 stairs are slippery, right? So, and they're not perfect. So we're going downhill now, anyways. But it's almost a little bit more dangerous than going uphill for me. But, um, so at some point this, because I did have planned to go to Asia and do some vlogging over there but that's not happening the way the world's going anyways so i'm gonna this um, summer i'm gonna go up to like uh more west coast and they got bigger trees than these up that way it's gonna be like a week trip i'll, t I'll take i don't even know i might even sleep in my forerunner along the way put a piece of foam in the back and just i'll truthfully i'll probably get hotels but Anyways, I got to keep up with these crazy dudes. So here's a big cat face right in that tree right there. 
Yeah, that's what the loggers call it, cat face. But these are my favorite things to see. Is trees growing on top of a tree. I don't know if it's going to be pretty dark and it looks dark on the screen, but you look at this. So here's a dead tree. And you got the tree growing on here up and it, it's put its roots into the old dead tree, right? This is my favorite thing to see. There's two trees on this dead tree. So it's getting the nutrients from the old tree, those roots. See, here's an example, one right here. See that? Tree within a tree. See, I would love to have an area like this where in my town, because I put carvings all around inside here. If you guys have an area, a forest area, doesn't have to be a first growth forest area like this, but go put some carvings in there. You know, you wanna, you wanna get known as an artist, just go slowly put some carvings in there. You know what I mean? Like, you'll sooner or later get recognized because people will be like, who's the carver that's been putting the, putting the carvings in the uh, trails? Then sooner or later, they'll know who it was like I did with the spirit trails. I didn't do it to get recognized, I did it to give back. Just like I did that carving on the beach today, that's how I give back, but it's never been to get recognized for me. And this YouTube's not to get recognized either. It's just, I'm just fucking loving life. I guess the bottom line is I'm happy. I'm happier now I've car done carving that urn for my be one of my best friends. But anyways, that's, uh, this is almost the end of this video because we're almost out of here. Hey, Timmy, huh? can I get you to tell that story what happened to you the other day? Which one? What happened to something hit you? Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell that when we get down to the river. We'll sit around the fire, I'll roll one up, and I uh, will tell you the tale of the San Juan River. Lady can chime in on his own San Juan River tale, too. Okay. Okay, so that's it for that. Super happy to be able to share that with you guys. Now we're going to go find a place along the river. I guess Tim's gonna burn one and he'll tell you his, uh, we'll do carbon fusion story time. They're not birch trees, they're alders.
All right, that's enough of that. Skull fragment. Oh yeah, I got that other one in my pocket. Ah, <laughs> uh, milk jug at the bottom. Anyways, I grabbed this on the beach. Looks like there's teeth marks in there. Let's see if it will zoom in. See, it looks like those are for teeth, those marks in there. Anybody know what kind of bone this is? Like a jaw or something? Or I just thought this uh, fin looking thing, it's not a fin, but I thought that was a weird part of it. But anybody know what kind of bone this is? From It was on the ocean. Sand. So I think it's probably some type of fish. Anyways. That sure looks like teeth marks in there. For teeth. Come on, zoom in. See those marks there, like that? Stinks. Yeah, so you know what kind of bone this is? But anyways, I brought a carving over here. Just a quick one that I did that I've had lying around my front yard, so we're gonna leave it here. That's Douglas fir or something. This, this guy. Maybe we'll try and get it on that stump up there. We can climb up. Yeah, there's a thing there. Walmart shoes are garbage, so. There's a big hole right here. I'll just chuck it in that hole. <laughs> it's a hole up there or anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, there's a cat face on the front of it. Did you stick it in the cat face? There is, right here. In the cat face? Right in the yeah. Okay, here, come grab it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like right here? Yeah. Perfect! Cool. Mint. Good, eh? Yeah, that's a perfect spot for it. Thank you. Thanks, Timmy. Yeah, it's perfect. Now it's meant to be. It was. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Cool. Let's do say something at the bottom of that, eh? Perfect. What's this guy doing? He's coming in here. So there's two carvings today given back. All right. Tim Somebody's Eden. already added to it. Holy Tim, who put those rocks up there? Natives. <laughs> Okay, spirit of the forest, we'll see you later. Enjoy your new home and take care of, uh, keep everybody safe that comes uh, through this campsite. See you later. We just stopped at this clear cut here. Look at these big burn piles, they're massive. Yeah, probably like 500 pounds too, eh? Yeah, that is a beauty. Why wouldn't the uh, loggers take that cedar? Oh, because it was shitty at the top there. It's like a fucking marm or defect and it's too short to make a leg. Oh, yeah. I'm going to walk up here and... So this is why I came here. I seen this cedar here. This is a nice cedar stump right here. Oh yeah. Oh, it's been already been bucked up. Too bad. That's Douglas fir. That cedar. 
that's what I see in here. A little bit of rot in there. The size of these burn piles. Oh, I guess you can't see with the sun. Anyways, too bad. So I just came back to the ferry, which is that right there, and it's closed. So I have to go to a different ferry. Anyways. Okay, it was a super uh, good trip. I'm back at the ferry one night. I'm going to go home, rest up. My uh, back's still sore for my normal subscribers. I got a pulled muscle in the lower back or something like that. But um, let's finish it off with this. You guys know what kind of bone this is? I don't know. I don't even know where to look. Try ocean fish. It could be something to do with a deer or something too, but who knows? Um... I'll leave this video with a picture of our buddy Reagan that was with us today, the pro professional tree faller with a big log, cedar log that he's cutting down. Just a picture. Hope you guys are all good, and I hope you enjoyed the old school something forest it was called. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.